Hi everyone, I'm Professor St. John and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your plant growth experiment. So go ahead and grab your box full of supplies, the things that we mailed to you, and let's get up the supplies we're going to need today. We're going to need the bag of soil, you're going to need the flat that has 10 cells in it, those are the pots where we're going to plant our seeds. You're going to want the little bag of seeds, those are basil seeds, we're going to be using today. And you're also going to need the plant markers. Okay. So the other supplies that we're going to need, uh, just a regular old pencil, um, something to label your plant markers with, uh, you're also going to need um, an 8 ounce cup measure and possibly a half cup if you have that as well. Let's see, The last thing you're going to need is a spoon. Probably a standard teaspoon will be good. This one that I'm using is actually a little bit too big. Let's start out by labeling our plant markers. So one of them, you're going to write the number one. That's going to be for the side where you've planted enough seeds to grow one plant per pot. On the other side, you will put two because we'll be growing two plants per pot on the other side. Uh, let's open up our bag of soil. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dampen the soil while it's still in the bag so that it gets uniformly dampened. So we're going to start out by putting one cupful of water into the bag. And then we're going to massage the bag, just squish it around real good um, until the soil is evenly dampened. Now, when I'm looking at this, that's not quite enough water. Let's add a little bit more. So let's add a half a cup of water to the bag. And that should be a good amount. So go ahead, add that in. Again, squish it around so that you're getting the soil evenly dampened. And we will be ready to start filling up our pots with soil. All right, so open up the bag so you're going to be able to to get in there with the spoon and let's grab our flat of, uh, of pots and now you're just going to scoop enough soil in to fill each of the cells to approximately the same height right ideally you want the same amount of soil in each little cell um, and you'll notice that I'm, I'm pressing down on it with my fingers I'm not trying to pack it in particularly tight but I do want to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles or any pockets so I'm putting the soil tamping it down with my fingers and then going on to the next one so go ahead and fill up all of the cells with soil right now one thing you'll notice as you're filling the cells up with dampened soil is that the peat pots when they become damp they're going to get a little bit flexible right so you're going to want to be real gentle when you're moving this around so that it doesn't uh, so they don't tear or break apart Now that we've got our cells filled with the right amount of soil, let's go ahead and get our seeds ready. So you'll probably want to put them into some sort of a little ramekin or a little dish, maybe lay a towel down on the counter or a paper towel, and you can um, dump the seeds out onto that so that they don't roll around. And what we're going to be doing is in each hole, we're going to plant three seeds. This is a process that's called overplanting and your lab instructor will explain to you why we're going to be doing it this way. So I'm going to get all of my seeds into sets of three. You're going to need 15 sets of three seeds. Three seeds will be going into five of the pots. The other five, you're going to be planting six seeds in each of those pots. So go ahead and get your seeds prepared now.
All right, so I'm just about done. You can see, there we go, I've got 15 sets of three seeds each. So let's go ahead and start planting them. You're gonna take your pencil. The reason we're using a pencil is because the metal part on the pencil is a great marker. We wanna poke holes in the soil that are about a half an inch deep. And the if you just poke the pencil down to the top of the metal, that's gonna be just about the right depth. Now you'll see that in one of these cells, I didn't think there was enough soil, so I'm adding a little bit more. Feel free to do that to make sure, again, we want each one of the, the cells to have approximately the same amount of soil, as close as we can get it. That first row of pots, we're just going to put one hole in each pot, and we will be planting three seeds in each of those pots. Here we go, you can see we're gonna put three seeds in each hole. Uh, go ahead and plant those right now. Now, after we've put all of our seeds in, you're just going to pinch the, the soil gently closed over the top of them so they're not exposed to the air. Now, we also then want to make sure that we're taking our label, the label that says one, and marking that so now we know which side we planted, uh, which side we put in the seeds where we're just going to be growing one plant per pot. Now, in the other set of pots, you're going to be putting two holes into each pot. The cells aren't very big, so they're going to be a little bit squished, but you will have room to put two holes in each pot. Once you've got the seeds in the pots, just go ahead and pinch the soil over the top of them so those seeds aren't exposed. You're going to take the label marked number two and mark that row of pots. And now we're ready to go. So the last thing you'll want to do, uh, you're going to notice when you pick these up that there's a pool of water underneath them. So it's probably a good idea to set them on some sort of plastic container that is going to hold in the water and also protect the table underneath from the water. Um, I'm going to use this plastic shoebox. You could use a baking tray. You could use a Tupperware lid that's turned upside down. Um, and if you don't have anything like that, you can just take a plastic bag, either a little uh, a bag from the grocery store or a little trash bag, and just uh, lay it out flat like this. And you could put your flat of pots in that. Great, now we've got our seeds in the pots. Um, so what I would like you to do is find a place where you're going to be, they're going to be able to grow undisturbed. Um, ideally in a window that's going to get partial sun throughout the day. If you don't have a window, then just put them somewhere they'll, where they'll be under the lights in your house um, for at least part of the day. Um, and then I'm going to let your lab instructor explain to you how you will be caring for the plants. And I will see you again in two weeks when it is time for us to cull the excess plants and again, your lab instructor is going to explain um, why we are going to be doing that. So well done. Um, plant growth experiment well underway. Have a great day, everyone.